All right, everybody, Icebox Rocks here again. Um, you know, I just, uh, remember those uh, healthy bison tacos that I made? Uh, matter of fact, I made them last night for dinner. And I, uh, with the uh, romaine lettuce tortilla shell, <laughs> they were absolutely delicious. So, with the leftovers, this is what I just made in my uh, Road Pro oven. So, I'll go ahead and let me see if I can't get this out of here without um, without tearing it up and making a mess. I wanted to show y'all the beauty of this. Oh, man. Look at this. An overstuffed Pablano Chile. <laughs> oh, man. I am dying to eat this. The brown rice I made with the hard-boiled eggs, the leftover bison taco meat I made last night. Okay, how I made the taco meat. On my uh, little propane burner I bought, um, camping burner, uh, I paid $15 for it at Walmart with the two little cans of propane. Uh, I think maybe 20 bucks all together, 21 after tax, 22 something like that. Anyway, um... I had my frying pan with some organic EVOO. I sauteed onion, a uh, green table onion, the green the green uh, chive part of it, and then I uh, mushroom, red bell pepper, and some ginger, and then I browned one pound of bison ground bison I I uh, browned that and mixed it all in together and uh, and then I made my tacos last night with that and today for lunch I have this poblano chile what I did when I cooked the hard-boiled eggs and the and the and the uh, brown rice after the eggs are finished and the brown rice was still in there I set my uh, poblano chili right on top of the brown rice to let the steam soften it up just enough. Not too much because you still want it a little bit firm. But it softened it up just enough so that I could cut the seeds out of it and slice it down the middle and mix some of the brown rice. I mixed about a half a cup of brown rice with mm, maybe about a cup of that taco bison um taco mix and uh all together it made about a about a cup and a half of uh of uh, good food maybe two cups all swelled up but uh all i'm gonna do to the top of it here is add some uh diced onion just like this and what I did when I put it in back in the oven to uh, heat it all up and steam it all in together, I added some power greens, just a little bit of power greens, right to the top of it to give it that little extra oomph. And I'm going to add a little bit of cilantro or cilantro. And let me go ahead and dice this up. I got the diced onion there. I'm going to dice up a little bit of this cilantro right here. Put that right on the top just for some added extra flavor. And here's what I've been trying to put on it. This is cranberry cinnamon crumbled goat cheese. And I'm going to put that right on the top. Just like that, with the cilantro and the onion. How beautiful is that? That is gorgeous. Finger licking good. Now, just like with my taco, I'm going to squeeze a little bit of lime juice right on top. The sweetness of the goat cheese, the tanginess, 
the uh, tanginess and the acidity of the lime. This is making my mouth water. And here we go. Let me just cut right into that. Get me a nice big old spoonful. And look how beautiful that is. Mmm. Oh my God. This is my lunch for today. I am going to enjoy this. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you want to try this, let me know. Leave a comment. I don't really have a written recipe. I just kind of told you how to make it. I never really have recipes that I go by. I just kind of cook out of my head. But 9 out of 10 times, it turns out really, really delicious. So if you're willing to try that, look at that. If you're willing to try it, let me know, and I'll help you out. <laughs> Be healthy, live life to the fullest, stay strong. Like, comment, subscribe, share. Y'all know what to do. Peace. Thanks for cooking on my truck with me. Bye.